I did something really fun. I went all the way to England just to attend the National Shire Horse Show. It was such a blast and I'm so glad that I went. It was like Disneyland for Shire Horse lovers. This was nearing the end of the first day at this wonderful event and I couldn't get enough. Like I mentioned in the Two Wheeled Carts episode 7, I'm a horse rider. Apollo, my shire, and I compete in dressage. Being the saddle is my passion, but I'm in awe of all these Shire Draft teams. I love all the rigging and harnessing. I go to a lot of draft horse shows in the USA, but they all seem geared a little more towards the Western world. What was so fun about these rigs and carts was the old English feel to all of them. The high seats, the bright colors, the painted names on the sides, and also the billboard above the driver, the suit, top hat, and trench coat for both driver and assistant, and even the apron on the driver's lap. The harnessing as well was similar but different. All the buckles and badges and the collar, all of it had a flair that was its own. Very British, which made it fun and new for me. Once again, the classes are what the competitors are there for. It's their moment. But for me, being close to these horses is what gives me goosebumps. So placing myself in spots where I could experience them as close as possible was always the highlight for me. For some of these teams who have trained and prepped for months to be at this event, you could almost feel them hold their breath and tension rise as they would trot in. I would take it as an opportunity to soak in more Shire horse goodness. The ground literally shakes and trembles as they go by. So much power and beauty in one giant little package. I loved all the horses I met at the show and in England, but I'd be lying if I didn't admit that this stunning pair of twins coming up wasn't my favorite. Or at least the top five. I first met them during the barn walkthrough, which you see in episode 5. They were so sweet and wanted nothing but love from the visitors walking by. They look incredible all dressed up and shiny. Nothing like a beautiful white horse that isn't actually white because it's gray, but still looks so very white that it should be just white. That's a horse people joke. The jingling sounds as the teams go by is so nostalgic and it takes my mind to many places in my past, be it holidays or amusement parks or special events. When I watch the riding classes in my head, I'm always comparing a little bit. How well would I perform here or would Apollo hold up against some of these great shires? It's a healthy bit of competitiveness that I have and wells up inside me. Watching these teams, I feel none of that. I could truly just sit back and enjoy the awesomeness that was this class. So much work to make this look so effortless and easy. It's anything but that. And my appreciation for the time, care, and money that goes into loving these animals grew by the minute. The ladies and gentlemen responsible for such wonderful achievements made me feel proud to be a part of that worthwhile tradition. It made me resolve to do everything in my power to see that my horses are well taken care of and loved. I felt like I was amongst family. Family that happened to talk really funny. Almost every video I've made from the show, the microphone is getting pelted by wind and it just drowns out all other sound. I like adding music to my videos, but I'd much prefer to just have the sounds of the event when I can. There's still some wind, but I hope you won't mind if I just allow the sounds of the Newark showgrounds to fill the spaces of the rest of this video. I'm so happy that I get to share these moments with you and for the response that I've gotten from all of you. We can't all attend, but I thought to myself, maybe I can bring it to those who wish they could. The next episode is the Grand Parade. It's such a spectacle and one not to miss. Please consider subscribing and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Please enjoy Class 8, Pairs Trade, and Episode 9 of Apollo the Shire.
with number 78 back into line, that's Cardiff and Charlton, and south back Alfred, owned and shown by Mr. J. Griffin, and it's a bottle ray built in by Mike Ronan.
looking down the line. I can also tell you that the Alpha Label Perpetual Cup for the best Brary turnout in the pairs class goes to Daniel Thwaites Brary. have been kindly donated by the Worshipful Company of Glovers. Not forgetting a big well done for Mr. J. Bauer and Mr. J. Griffiths for the first time of being in a turnout in here. This will now conclude the judging for today in the Newark Ring. But please do go and have a look round the trade stand and also pop over and look in the main ring where you can see the largest gathering of our male horses today, including our turnouts that are now going to join them for the Grand Parade. Many thanks.